um, my biggest memories of World War Two was the the sailors, the riots. Because, because it's riots. Because they came into our community, and my son, my husband, who was a big-looking kid, um, he had to run. Um, I remember being, going down Cesar Chavez, and there was this truck with sailors and Anglo guys with bats going down. And, you know, I ran home, because to get home I had to go up a cliff. I lived on the other side of that hill. And I ran home, and um, I wanted to make sure that, you know, that we were home, and I told my, my, my mother. And my brother was, it was before he went into the service. He went in, he didn't, he didn't finish 12th grade. I don't know, it was 43 or 44. And uh, in fact, uh, one incident I was just, ta all these have been talking about lately because I was watching um, For Me and My Gal, a, a movie that we saw. My brother took me downtown to the Los Angeles Theater for my birthday. It was my 11th birthday, so that was, it was uh, 1942. Oh. No, 42, 42 was, I was 10. 43, I was 11, so it was just before he went into the service. So he wanted to take me there, and we were in line, and there was a soldier, Mexican, with a really pretty girl, two people in front, and there was a, a older woman, a white woman, between us before we got to the door, and they didn't want to let him in. They were just not letting in because he was Mexican, and they didn't want any trouble. I guess there were sailors in the show, I don't know. and. Uh, and he said, what do you mean you can't let me in? I'm with my girlfriend. And uh, and so Rudy, my brother, you know, he gets a little dander up, you know, he's 18, he's 18 years old. And it, this went on a little bit, and when I got wind of what was happening, I saw that there was some commotion, you know, there, there was some arguing. And then so I went and I stood there, I was watching him, his face, cause, and then uh, my brother was just kind of circled them to see what, because that meant that we weren't going to get in, you know. The, and then the woman, I, we called her a Judea because the ones we knew white people were, were Jewish people. And she gave that, that uh, clerk the, a hell of a time. What do you mean you're not, don't you see he's got a uniform? He's fighting for this country. And she gave him a tongue lashing. And then uh, he was, yeah, well, it's not my decision, it's management. So they called the manager and somebody came and they talked and the woman went in there and was really giving them help. And the soldier was there. He didn't, I don't remember him leaving. He didn't. So they said, we're sorry, you know, of course, come on in. And so that means, and then, and then she said, what about them. And she said, yes, they could come in. Then my brother said, I don't want to go in. They're letting us in just because they, we had to argue. I think that's, I'm not going to go in. The hell with them. And I started to cry. But I, I came, so here I was a kid crying, oh, I want to go to the show. And I was just, oh, Fetty, you can't, how could we go in? I mean, that, they, they just, just, you know, they just treated us like heck. And I said, but I want to go to the show. So we went in. And it was, my brother was so he was so angry and so, you know, he was put out by it and he didn't enjoy it. I love the film. So that's how I remember that film. <laughs> and so they were doing that because, you know, they just didn't want trouble, they said.